The existential approach starts with the future. Heidegger starts, Heidegger says everything begins with the future. We kind of think about where is it that people are going towards? What do people have in their heads about where they're going towards? And then kind of working with that and working with their understandings of purpose, directions. A lot of my work at the moment is around this concept of directions. Like where are people's directions towards? Where is it that we're going? And of course that's informed by our past, but it's really about our present choosing towards to follow particular directions. And then the question becomes, are we moving in those directions? Are we moving in the directions we want to? Maybe it's growth people were talking about earlier or more learning. Or do we feel really stunted? Or do we actually feel that although we have directions that actually we're moving further away from the directions we want to go in? Or could it be that actually we don't have directions in our life, that we feel directionless? And that a kind of well-lived life is one in which we have directions, we feel we're moving in those directions, kind of flow towards the things that we want. So from this standpoint, you know, if you think about how people are feeling and understanding clients and understanding yourselves, then it's not so much about what's happened in the past, but it's about your sense of what is to come. That a client who's, for instance, very depressed is not depressed per se because of, say, adverse childhood experiences, although those might be very important. The reason that a client is depressed from this perspective is because when they look in their future, all they see is just a blankness. They see no possibility of something good there. They, they don't see something that they're aspiring towards or believe is going to happen that's going to be a positive thing. That all that they can see in their future is more suffering and more misery and more isolation. No possibility of ever being in a good relationship. And certainly, you know, when I work with clients who are very depressed, and most of my work is with clients who are depressed, it's absolutely true to say that their futures look very bleak. You know, you might think, what would it be like to have a traumatic past, but to believe there were really good things in the future? Would that feel better? Or would it feel be better to have it the other way around, that you have good things in the past, but then your future looks incredibly bleak? I think given the choice, most people would rather have kind of bad things in the past, good things in the future, than vice versa. Life is about changes, and those changes are very often violent changes. They are changes that you weren't expecting or that you weren't bargaining for or that you actually didn't want at all. But there are also changes, of course, that are predictable, like, you know, you do eventually grow up and then you have to strike out into the world and create your own life. And, you know, you do tend to fall in love. So you become at the mercy of the other person's affection and you know that relationship so all of these things normal changes engage you with the world and then the world pays you back by throwing surprising kind of challenges at you and you've got to find a way to deal with them and i think at first certainly if i speak about myself at first you try to avoid those changes you try to keep things stable and you try to keep your head down and not you know make things too difficult because you know how difficult it is to stay in balance and the harder life gets to, the harder it becomes to keep that balance but then after a while you realize rather like learning to ride a bike that actually if you go a bit faster and you have a sense of where you're going, then you can keep that bike much more easily in balance than if you try to control it and you try to go slow. But once you discover that going with the flow of life and going with the changes works well as long as you have a clear idea of where you're going and you are willing to go with that and just, you know, allow your energy to move you forward.